Now we're going to be uh, doing our budget, remembering that the budget would be entered in the cog drop down and then the budgeting. But first we need to compare to create the budget so we can put it in the system and QuickBooks is good at running reports once we have created and imported the budget to run reports like profit and loss or a budget versus actual type of report. So in prior presentations, we exported a trial balance and constructed it uh, into just the income statement accounts. And we double checked that our balance lines up to the 1324 on the income statement for the two months of data. So here we have it here. So we just have the income accounts as positive, the expense accounts negative. We don't have any subtotals in play at this point because that's kind of the easiest streamlined way to, to work with it. And now I'm going to say that these are my uh, beginning numbers for two months of data. I'm going to divide it by two for one month of data and then project that out over, over the uh, 12 months. Uh, and that's what that's going to be our starting point and then we'll make adjustments from there so we're going to project out 12 months i know this data was pulled from january and february of 2023 but we're going to kind of pretend it was as of two months of november and december of the prior year so that we can then kind of project out for the full year of 2023 and then run reports budget versus actual for those two months of data that we actually have in the QuickBooks system. Okay, so to do that, I first, I would like to put my months up top, have a header column. So I'd like to pull my data down a little bit, one row. So one way to do that is I can select the entire row with, with a pointer on row one, right click the selected area and insert, and that pushes it all down one row. And then I might start here and just say, this is gonna be uh, January. Let's put a little space between our actual data. I'm going to make column C a little bit smaller. And let's start on column D and say this is January, Feb. That's all I should need. And QuickBooks should be able to, to pick up that trend even with only two points. I'm going to select those two, put my cursor on the fill handle and drag it to the right. And you can see it's picking up June, July and so forth. And we want to go to, of course, December. So there we have it. As it's still highlighted, I'm going to go to the uh, Home tab, Alignment, Center it, and let's also make it black and white like I typically do with a header font. Let's make it black and white on, on that. So there we have it. And then January, for the January numbers, I'm going to assume it's just going to be th this amount divided by two. So we're just going to, cause this is for two months of data. So I'll just take that and divide it by two. So I'm going to say this equals this number divided by two. And that's basically our starting point. I could copy that all the way down, putting my cursor on the fill handle. And I'll just say, that's my starting point all the way down. Boom. All right. And so there's, there's our starting point. So each of these rows is just taking the prior two month total and dividing it by two. Now I could copy that to the right a couple different ways as our as our starting point. I might say that I, I want to copy it like this 